Okay, so for quite a while now, I've been meaning to try Box86 and also uh, Wine on Twister OS. And uh, you can see they're all in here. Uh, and uh, I've just not got around to it. But when I saw the video by uh, Nico D the other day, and I put this in Pi News, um, it, he was showing various games working, and some of them work really well. Now, at the start of the video, he... Uh, basically forces performance mode. Now I tried in terminal uh, the script that he used, but I think you have to install something else. And rather than search around and find that, uh, this was what he put in. Yeah, sudo CPU. So I do it and it says command not found. So I did a quick Google search and it looks like I have to install something to be able to do it. So rather than do that, uh, I went into my config.txt and I added force turbo equals one. And that's why you'll see at the top of my screen that uh, this stays at the highest frequency that it's set to. Uh, so it's set to 2147. It misreports it on the Pi uh, in a lot of operating systems. Uh, it was something to do with an update and it always shows higher than it is. But it is set to 2147. But rather than dropping down to 666 or whatever it drops down to, uh, it actually just stays at that. So this is trying to get the maximum performance. I've got my big uh, 52 Pi uh, rack case which is in other videos which is keeping it cool so I'm not worried about it overheating or anything like that but yeah so I'm on force turbo equals one I'm not recommending people do this uh, and it didn't seem to make a lot of difference but as I've changed it I'll leave it on for the purpose of this video uh, so the other settings if I go down the bottom look uh, 2147 for the CPU 750 for the GPU and over voltage is 8 now I've got to try some lower settings because I had a comment the other day that said you can use lower over voltage settings uh, to overclock and you can also go higher uh, and as I've just received from uh, Seed Studio I've got my uh, cooler tower uh, so new ice tower cooler uh, I've got to try that out but I'll do that in another video this is more about box 86 and wine so let's close that down because that's already been done and let's just run uh, NeoFetch and just show you that it comes up as, oh actually this also says 2.29, but it is 2147. Uh, so this has been running at 34 minutes at the highest clock setting. So the temperature is 39 degrees, so it's no worries at all. So the first thing I did was locate some games. Now it looks like, uh, and I could be wrong on this, it's only days of me testing that out. This isn't a tutorial, this is just me kind of running through what I've done. Uh, so with Windows games, uh, so I had a load of Windows games and DOS games and things like that. None of these seem to be recognized. Um, now Sega Rally works uh, and in fact I've got a folder that's got what works and Moto Racer 3 was the one that most surprised me because it's a great game. It's a game I always want to uh, try out on different systems and it, and it very rarely runs on things uh, either because it's too old uh, or what I'm using it on is not powerful enough. And so Twister OS is a Linux operating system, so it has to uh, in some ways emulate it, although Wine says it's not an emulator. So the process I did was, went to games, I did the update to Box86 to make sure it was the latest. I also updated GL4ES, just because I could. Uh, I went into uh, configuration, but I don't think I've changed anything on this now. So this opens up this window and so drives libraries graphics yeah i don't think i actually changed it i did mess about with this for a bit but i've changed it back to what it was on weirdly i have had uh, motor racer 3 working better than it is now so then i put this on the desktop uh, just because i keep launching it and i close it down between games Okay, so let's launch it and show you what I've got running on it so far. Uh, I've been putting all the folders on the desktop just because it shows up uh, within Wine. So this is basically uh, allowing you to run Windows through Linux. And uh, you can see my folders on my desktop here. Uh, so there's the Sega Rally one. I've got my working folder. So Elastomania is uh, something that I, I installed on a Windows computer and I've basically taken all of the folders of that game uh, and then just put them onto the desktop of this computer. So you can see here, and it even remembered the other levels that I'd played as well. So all of that was still in there. And you can hear the sound works fine. I'm using keyboard for this. I don't know if you can use joystick for this particular game. I never do. 
because it actually works really well with keyboard anyway. But you can see from a speed point of view, it's running as I would expect it to be. I used to play this game loads years ago, really love it. So anyway, let's quit out of that. Uh, so if I close that down, so I've got my working wine folder. Uh, the Steam Games ones, I tried and couldn't get it to work. Uh, it just doesn't seem to do anything. So these are games that were installed uh, on a Windows computer uh, with Steam. And then you can actually navigate to that folder. And I've just basically copied the whole folder. So then I thought if I click on the EXE file, it may launch. That's what works for some things, but it doesn't work for everything. So there may be more things that you have to do. Uh, and because I don't, I haven't spent enough time with this, I don't really know how that works. But I'll just concentrate on the things that work straight out of the box. Okay, so let's try Motor Racer because I can't get Sega Rally to work. I'll try it again in a minute with some, a few different settings uh, because it's been working. It's been working amazingly well. Uh, this is the startup that it comes with and I put it down to 640x480.16. Uh, I've played around with some of these settings. Nothing seemed to make it any better. Uh, it is playable but it is too slow. Uh, and I wonder if there's anything else that can be done that can make this run better than it does. I was actually really surprised to see it working. As I say, these are just the folders copied from my Steam directory for the game. And uh, it's just running straight from that. And the audio, everything seems to work. It's just that little bit too slow. If I could somehow get a way of optimizing it. It's weird because sometimes it does go at the right speed. Uh, and then other times it's really, really chugs along. So you can see this bit, part of that's going faster than I think it normally would, but then it then it slows, but it does catch itself up. Now I've covered this in some of my other videos, but on, on old Windows devices, it is such a good game. And this is just like one element of it. So I can lean back and wheelie up there, but then you can hop, look. So you can see around. You can also change your camera angle, but I haven't set the controller up for that. So you can actually spin the camera. Oh, is that going to work? No, oh, I came close. So the camera angle would definitely be the better way of doing it. <laughs> no, too soon. It is because it's a bit jerky. It's harder to play than normal. <laughs> that was uh, a bit too aggressive. Let's go a bit slower this time. Oh, and we've got a bit of slowdown now. It's weird how it, it kind of... Sometimes it plays all right, sometimes it goes really slow. And I haven't kind of worked out uh, how to make it more consistent. But I'm just amazed to see it running. I, I didn't expect to get this running. I've tried it on all sorts of things. And yeah, it's because it's running so much out, I wonder if I... If I wait a second and then does it catch itself up? No, it's still in, in like a slower mode. And I did try turning down a lot of the settings. Is that gonna do it? Yeah, there we go. Anyway, need some work, but it would be a game that I'd love to get working on here. Well, that was a bit ambitious. So let's quit out of that. Okay, so I've just written a new copy of Twister OS using my old version of Twister OS uh, because I couldn't get Sega Rally to work and it was working before. So let's try uh, Games Wine Desktop. I've copied the Sega Rally files and you can see what they look like. So it is all that you would get on a Windows installation with the folder and everything else. I haven't done anything with desktop overclocking or anything like that. I thought I'd go straight in and see what happens. Uh, so rally.exe. That's what we want to see. No sound coming out yet. Now there's sound coming out. Just turn that up a bit. So I haven't configured or done anything to this yet. So let's see what happens. Does it recognize? Right, so it doesn't recognize my controller straight away. But if I do Alt and S, change control, uh, and change that to joypad. 
and next and I just need to do put V for change view Hit OK unpause that yeah we're in so the controller configures on its own so I haven't, I haven't done anything to this apart from what you've seen here we go looking good press V for view wrong button yeah it runs beautifully so obviously if I lower the desktop resolution I can get this to uh, a bigger screen but that look how smooth it is it is unbelievably smooth I'm gonna have to do lower the resolution so you can see it but that looks and plays perfectly I mean with my Xbox 360 wide controller uh, it's already configured the analog feels nice and accurate as well so it doesn't feel like uh, you know something's off it feels very playable very responsive I'm just not so good at the game back on the gravel yeah that is very decent right so I think what I'm going to do now uh, is to lower the desktop resolution I could go as low as 640 by 480 never at full screen but I think I'm going to do 1280 by 720 so this is non overclocked right let's quit out of that so we are back in at 720 uh, you can move the dock along I'm not going to bother for this because I'm just doing it for the game really uh, so let's close that and games wine desktop and the great thing about this is Twister OS updates all this okay so ooh, wrong folder so Sega Rally Rally.exe now I think it doesn't remember my controller configuration so if I go into uh, so alt s change controls yeah it's not on joypad I, d I don't know why it doesn't save it there might be a way of being able to do that so let's hit next change view to V and hit OK and unpause that let's give it some more volume so you can get the full experience so it's a lot bigger on my screen. I'll zoom in so you can see it properly. Sega Rally Championship. Okay, that might have been a bit loud. So just to show you how quick all the menus go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, this plays really well. The sound is decent as well. Nice bit of bass. I'm using a, a wired wired speaker on this, three and a half mil speaker, uh, to provide the audio. Oh, aggressive. Yeah, plays perfectly. It's really, it's really smooth. It really does look nice. Oh, laid off a bit there. Oh, he's through. And uh, Salvador sent me a video. He's, he's got this working. Uh, so Salvador from Pilab sent me a video. He's got this working with a steering wheel. Uh, and he did mention some software. I'll just turn my speaker off so I don't interrupt. Some software to uh, be able to key map any game that uses keys to your controller uh, and he managed to key map it to a steering wheel and he was using it with that so a great setup anyway so great work to Pylabs for uh, this creation and uh, I'll keep trying more games let me know what games you get success with uh, and also if you've had any any sort of quirks or anything you can find out that, that improves things I see that guy's clapping look he's the only one clapping although there is someone in the far far distance anyway I hope you like this thanks very much for watching Please like and subscribe.